Hey guys, Marilyn here. Um, so in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and share with you what we can now do in design space. I am super excited because I was recently creating some circular rhinestone templates in Corel Draw and in my rhinestone program. And one, when I save the files as SVGs, I wrote down my measurements as you saw me do when I did the tutorial for this cup. And when I in, imported it into Design Space, it actually imported at the correct size. So I was super shocked. I'm like, what is going on? Why did that work? Why is this correct? Why is this the right size? And I don't have to do anything with the measurements. So when I created the tutorial for this cup, I got a lot of emails. I got a lot of comments and messages saying, please help. I can't cut these files. I'm stuck in prepare mode. Well, I had always been working off the web version of Cricut Design Space, and I never opted in to go into the desktop version. For what? I mean, I was already on the web version. Why would I want to switch it to the desktop version? Again, in my brain, the web version is wide open and limitless. Desktop version, you're kind of in a box and you have limitations. So a lot of people that purchased these templates were stuck in prepare mode. So I did the tutorial for this cup, but I didn't do it for this one. And um, I realized after one of my viewers had said, I know why mine's not working. I switched from the desktop version to the web version. Well, I had never worked off the desktop version. I had always been on the web version, so I didn't know the difference. However, from that point on, I started directing people and making sure that they were on the web version. But since Cricut took the web version away back in um, September of 2008, 19 or 20, 20 was a wash, so I can't even remember. It could have been 2020. I keep forgetting that we're already in 2021. But anyway, when the web version went away, a lot of people couldn't cut these files. I was frustrated and I started losing my love for Cricut. However, Matt from the Rhinestone World created a file to decorate the lid of the Cricut Maker. However, he created two different files for the Maker, right? So there was one file that had um, the rhinestones a little more scarce than this. But I was like, no, if I'm going to put bling on my Maker, I want to make sure that I have a lot of bling and it looks like this cup. So then he created this file for the maker, whereas the rhinestones were close together, as in this cup, and he created that file, but it was in two parts. It was split. So if you were going to purchase that file, Design Space users would have to cut it in two parts. I was not about to do that. However, I attempted to do that. And I put my magic flock on a 24 inch mat and I was so frustrated with design space that I actually walked away from the project. I left the magic flock that was still stuck to my 24 inch mat, including tape down with masking tape. I put it away and it's been there for several months. However, I started creating the rhinestone templates to decorate my Bernina, my Bernina sewing machine. So when I imported those files into design space and they were imported at the correct size and I realized that I did not have to change the width or the height, I was like, what is going on? Why is this, wor <laughs> Why is this working? Why is this importing at the correct size. 
And then I realized while I was cutting other things on my Cricut at that moment, for example, this pretty fabric uh, vinyl, this is for a wallet, for the Lens Handmade Wallet. Then I was cutting this on there. I was also working on doing a mug on the Cricut Mug Press. In the middle of working on those projects, I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I can now cut the Cricut lid template. So I pulled up the file on my computer and I pulled out the mat because my magic flock was still stuck on there, a whole 24 inches, and I hit make it and oh my God, the machine took it. And the reason why the machine took it was because Cricut just released the Maker 3. What does the Maker 3 do? It con cuts in continuous cuts. So now Design Space has to accept large files. I had even written Cricut an email and I said, why cannot... Why can my Cricut Design Space, why can it not cut large, intricate files as advertised, right? The response that I got, unfortunately, was call our 800 number. And so that's when I was like, forget about it. I'm just going to put the mat away. But it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. And now I'm in love with Cricut again. So let me show you what my sewing machine looks like and then... We'll get to what my um, Cricut looks like. Oh, but first, but let's take a look at how perfect this cut. Look at this. Look at it cut all these tiny thousands of little holes in one shot. And it saved the file the correct size. And oh my God, look at how beautiful that looks. So I'm super excited. So like I said, we are now finally at a place with design space where we want to be. So let me go ahead and show you my sewing machine and then I'll show you my Cricut Maker. All right, guys, here it is. So here is the hand wheel to my sewing machine. And as you can see in the back, we have the dark gray glitter um, HTV vinyl, I believe that is the Cricut brand. I had that in there from a mystery box. But when I created the circle template on here, I did measure the hand wheel first, and then I created the template, and then I did the um, glitter HTV circle. And oh my gosh, this is flawless! It fits perfectly to the hand wheel all the way around. There is no uh, lifting, no, it's not sticking out of the edges. It came out perfect. So let me show you the rest of the machine. So there's the hand wheel. And then here are the other circles that I created for the front of the machine. And this machine I drove three and a half hours to get. If you're familiar with the Brunina brand, it is quite pricey. Um, when I bought this machine, it was listed on a uh, Facebook marketplace and for a great price. So I drove three and a half hours <laughs> to go get it. And there was only eight hours on this machine. So I love it. It doesn't have a jumbo bobbin, but I still love it. And as you can see, that bling on there looks beautiful. So I finally blinged it out. I wish I could have covered the entire faceplate. But I didn't want to try to remove the faceplate and possibly ruin my machine. So we have circles instead of polka dots. And instead of an FDC holographic vinyl, we have rhinestones. And it's a Bernina. So let me go ahead and show you what my Cricut die cutting machine looks like. All right, guys, you ready? Okay, let's take a look. Well, there it is. Looks like diamonds. How pretty is that? And it cut it in design space, cut this in one shot. That's a lot of little circles there. 
Look at that. Looks like diamonds. And it matches my cup. So this cup, I did this right after I did the tutorial for the pink cup. And as you can see, the background of the rhinestones is a silver glitter uh, HTV vinyl, which it's the same process that we did for the cup, which is this decal. So this is essentially a large decal. Um, the glitter HTV was pressed onto the bling anything material and of course the rhinestones onto that. But look at how beautiful that looks. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and if I haven't done so already, I'm going to try to insert some of the clips that I do have and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, it don't cost nothing to be nice, so be nice and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Or you were not able to cut this on the Cricut Design Space and uh, Matt at the Rhinestone World had created it this file in two pieces to make it easier for us Cricut users however it looks like Cricut actually revised their um, software so now we can cut bigger files such as this look at that it worked. I am so excited. And I just bought some more diamond cut rhinestones. So I'm going to go ahead and make my rhinestone template for, um, I'm going to decorate the top lid of my, my Cricut Maker. And it cut it flawlessly. Again, I still have my, my Cricut. I, I have to move this mat. I'm so excited. I cannot believe that this was working. This cut in one cut. Now, how long did it take? Did it take a, a, a couple hours? It took about an hour and a half. But look at this. It cut it flawlessly. There are some dots that I do need to pull out. I'm okay with that. But can you believe it, guys? Finally, Cricut finally, finally, finally got it right. And I am super excited. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. And then I'm going to brush in all my stones. And we're going to go ahead and make a decal out of this. Look at how pretty. That's a lot of bling. So now I'm debating what color glitter I want to put behind this. So I ran to my room. I initially wanted to do uh, rose gold for this. However, I didn't buy enough rose gold rhinestones. I'll save that for another project. So I ran to go get my, my bottle here that I did. And for this one here, I put... Um, silver glitter HTV behind it and then on this pink cup I have this Cricut um, pink and it's got all these different colors on there I think I have a sample of um, a um, decal that I did that has that colorful um, that has that colorful um, glitter HTV in the background so I'm gonna pull that I'm debating on what I want to do so um, this is a lot of rhinestones it's a huge decal and I want to make sure that it comes out right so let me go get my samples all right guys so I have these three different four different colors so initially I did this decal um, with pink in the background it's a little hard to see uh, initials but I feel like it's okay for this large um, so that rhinestone decal is going to go right on top of my maker right here. Now, so I think the pink glitter is out of the question. So I'm going to move that one aside. Then I had this. All right. And this is actually what's behind pink rhinestones on this cup. As you can see, you can see all those pretty colors. You got your green and blue and purple and all those pretty colors. 
So I really, really love this. This is a Cricut um, glitter vinyl. And so I reordered it. And then when I reordered it, I got this, which is more pink in color. So you can definitely see the difference between these two vinyls right here, right? One is more of a rose gold and one is more of a pink. So even though the one on the right looks a little lighter, it still has all those colors. I really like this one, but I don't have any more of this HTV other than this here. Um, this one is very, very pink in comparison to this one. This one looks more rose gold. Um, I just don't have enough of that. Um, but I do have this one here. So I think those rhinestones will look really pretty um, on top of that. Or I have my silver. And again, this is the silver uh, glitter on this cup, as you can see in the back. So you really can't tell that it doesn't have all these pretty colors in the background because the rhinestones itself have those colors. So I just need to pick what color I want to do and then we'll go ahead and make the decal. So I accidentally deleted the video that shows what the decal looked like um, before I placed it on the maker. But this is the final result and look at how gorgeous that looks. Look at all that bling. Finally, it worked out cut it in one shot. It's like having the the original web version back. But how pretty is that? That's my maker. All right guys, thanks for watching. I apologize for the uh video being edited the way it was with partial of the beginning of the video towards the end of the video, but I it was in a lot of different clips and I accidentally deleted some of it off my phone, but there it is. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.